All right, I want to show you our stateroom and our secret little hallway here. This is an interesting hallway for these staterooms. There's no elevator to these, so we get no excess traffic. This only way in and out is through that little set of stairs up there. And um, I'll show you quickly what our room looks like. Now, this is an upgraded stateroom uh, because we have that window right there. It's very bright. The sun is just coming around, but it's a... Uh, Large bed, probably a, near a king, a large queen or something. It feels bigger than a queen to me. But anyway, uh, there's a little couch there that probably pulls out. It's just full of our junk. TV with three or four channels on it. We got a refrigerator. This is your standard hotel room, basically. It's a nice big closet. Lots of space, some life jackets. Um, and that's it. There's a little stool down there to sit on. Uh, we got an outlet, 110 American outlet. We got some USB chargers on each side of the bed. And we did upgrade this room uh, to this view. A lot of the state rooms on the cruise lines just either has a porthole or no hole. They're just completely dark. Now, we can't exactly like walk up to this like a balcony, but we get this daylight, makes the room feel a little bigger. And if we're just poking our head out, well, that's our view. Anyway, we're getting ready to head up probably to get a drink. There's like 30 bars on this ship. No, I think there's like 12 bars. <laughs> anyway, here's the bathroom. Again, a little messy, but that's okay. A little bit of a step up right there. Uh, shower, very small, but very powerful and very hot. No problems there. I think that's a hair dryer. I don't know, I never used it. They bring linens and towels and stuff in every day. Um, water hand soap, hot water. Uh, it's got a, like a vacuum powered toilet. So it's a regular size toilet. When you're done, you just push uh, that button right there and it whoosh, whooshes it out like an airplane. That's our room. All right, you need a key card for everything here. This key card on Norwegian is my everything card. Uh, this is my credit card for the casino. It's my, it, I can put money on it. I can take money off of it. I can use it like a credit card. I can charge things to the room, which is basically charging it to my real credit card. Um, we're not really doing any of that, although I do have a balance on there from the casino. But then we owe some money. Let me explain real quickly how Norwegian Cruise Line's free drinks work. Nothing's free in this world, as you know. Uh, so you can get, the bottom line, I'll just make it real easy for you. Any drink on this ship that's $15 or under, uh, we get for free because we bought a package. So it's not free. We bought a package for a couple hundred dollars for the two of us. All you can drink. Now that includes liquor. And that's about it. <laughs> Mixed drinks, $15 and under is how you sort of qualify that. Now, you want sodas, you want Starbucks, you want water. No, that's all extra. One little jug of water cost us $5.50 the other day. We got two of them. Okay. Now, the ship is laid out pretty simply. We're about to hit the dead center of the ship here. So that was a lot of staterooms back behind me. And uh, what we're walking into now is this like central corridor, champagne bar, uh, artwork, little shops. And so that's the fifth floor. We're on the sixth, fifth floor, sixth floor, seventh floor is where we're standing. And it goes all the way up to the 12th floor. So this is their central area where pretty much anywhere you're going on the ship, you're going to pass through one of these floors right here. The atrium. Yeah, atrium, yeah, that's what she calls it. The atrium. I mean, that's what they call it, the atrium. So, on the other side of the ship here is uh, this casino, theater, um, and this is basically where all the dining is. Um, one below us, one here, and several dining rooms up above. And we're going to go up a little higher on the ship. There's multiple ways to do this. We're just going to take this one and you can see this will take us up to 11 but there's also a 12 uh, there's a different way to get there so 
So here we go. So we're heading to the 11th, and we just woke up. That's cool. And uh, look at that, right out the top of the ship. And what is this? 11th. This is us. Okay. So now this is where things get a little weird up here, but there's a spa. We can go out right here. There's a spa, and it just <laughs> there's like little little hallways that go all over the place. But we're gonna pop out here on 11. The sun's out. It's pretty nice out. Uh, and clearly, this is the pool. There's people in the pool. Yes, it's like 30 degrees out here. There's people in the pool. There's people in the hot tubs. They have a stage here. They have some entertainment. Uh, we could go all the way to the front, way up there, which we have been a couple times. We've also been all the way up there. Um, so we're gonna stop over here at the bar. I think these make some hell. These. These guys over here, top siders, man, he makes one heck of a heck of a mud slide, let me tell you. One heck of a good mud slide. A little cold for a frozen drink, but uh, anyway, on left and right from here is the what they call the I'm just gonna call it the buffet. They call it some name, but it's it's a buffet. It's like a double sided buffet. It's really big. There's a lot of people in there eating right now. Uh, we're we're gonna eat way later. You know what, guys? I know. I think we're gonna skip the, the. It's too cold. I think what we're gonna do instead is go up to the top and get something a little different. Let's go up to uh, the twelfth floor. Yeah, I'm trying to give you a quick tour of the ship. So we're back up on the twelfth floor now. We came up an elevator. There's a small chapel here. Uh, just about every one of these upper decks has somewhere you can walk out on. Uh, you can actually walk all the way up on the top front up there. It's, um, but they have these things up there, and they're always really dirty because that's the bow of the ship. So it's really hard to see through them. It's a little tip for you, I guess. So even though you think that's the great view up there, it's really not. Down below is the better view because they don't have these. They just have a railing, and it's wide open. So, you know, these are very dirty. Uh, regardless, we're going to go up to the 12th floor now. Actually, we're on the 12th floor. So we're going to go right up forward to a bar called Spinnaker's is somehow where we usually end up and mostly because they make the best drinks in there now it's going to be so crowded up in here i'm going to probably have to stop filming but you're going to get the i'm going to give you the quick gist of it anyway so this is the front lounge bar area perfect panoramic view this is the bow of the ship so this is a lot of people hang out here, but I'm gonna have to stop filming because there's so many people. And tour will continue later. All right, guys. So I'm getting a coffee Kahlua right here. Leslie's getting a pina colada. One pina colada. And um, so we swing it around real quick. And you can get the gist. There's a little band that plays up here every night. So this is kind of a cool place to hang out up here. We, we like it. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my drink. Leslie's going to enjoy her piña colada. And they make a mean drink up here. Now, mud slides we like downstairs. For some reason, they're a little better. Thank you, sir. And what's going to happen here in a minute is he's going to take my card. And uh, they're going to see if I have free drinks. See that little letter is right there? UB, that means I bought a drink package. Two drink packages. So what they do here, oh, where I said... Stuff that's free isn't free. They're going to charge tax. So every drink you get that's free, that was a $13 drink, by the way. So I don't have to pay the $13, but I do got to pay the tax. And Leslie's going to pay the, the well, I'm going to pay the tax on the pina colada, too. As you can hear, uh, they do this for throughout the day. They're going to give us some, some entertainment. Oh, oh, nice. Beautiful. We have music all around the vessel, and at 7 p.m., I will be hosting our final episode oh, it's of delicious. the Wheel of Fortune game show in the Stardust. Some of the best drinks right here in Spinnakers. Doors open at 6 We're waiting for Leslie to give us a oh, taste test on her pina colada. The Bliss Lounge, and at 8.30 is our Dun, da -da. And I'm sure it's good. It looks delicious. Yes, she gets the we thumbs up on that. There are two main dining rooms on the Norwegian Sun. This is one of them. It's called the Seven Seas. This is where we eat almost every meal. 
because we really like the service here. Thank you, good day, thank you. Bye. And the other one is called Four Seasons. They serve the same menu and they're pretty much connected to each other through the galley. We have eaten at the Four Seasons once. We didn't think it was uh, quite as good as the one down here. I don't know why. Weird, huh? Also here is the theater. Uh, we're probably gonna go to the show tonight, the Rock You tonight. Here's some lady that's gonna sing. She's from Japan. So they're gonna do a bunch of uh, <coughs> rock music kind of stuff. It's gonna be a live performance. So last night we were here. Now this is, this is, um, let me finish my thought. Last night we were here and we saw um, the magician who we've seen twice now. But we don't usually sit down here. This is the first level because it's not elevated. We sit up there. And we can often get right up next to this pole right there if we come early enough and then we get a perfect view of the stage. So we saw an illusionist comedian. We've seen him twice now, two different shows. He was pretty good. From France. That's Ketchikan, Alaska right there. We just pulled into port. Uh, we're debating going ashore. It's uh, very, very windy, cold and rainy very heavy rain so uh we're not sure and it's 100 percent chance of rain all day long so i don't think we're gonna go all right this is a photo gallery area where you can buy all kinds of souvenirs and things they got my camera on sale too that i really wanted it's so tempting it's like 500 dollars cheaper and I can find it. So, uh, we're thinking about that. It's 1500 I couldn't find it for under 2000 so I'm, I'm thinking about it. So anyway, you can do all kinds of, uh, there's a photo studio, there's a library we just passed. You can check in, check out books. Um, this kind of stuff here is kind of neat. You can tap that scan your card and they take pictures all over the ship everywhere you go they're trying to take a picture and when they do you can eventually come over here and check them out and if you want to buy them you can buy them i think leslie's very interested in getting one of these porthole ones it's like a plastic porthole and you can put a photo they'll mount a photo in there for you it's possible this is a another bar there's i think there's 12 bars on here or something like that and yeah, it's, it's called the wind jammer very small as you can see but they do music here. Now we're moving into another uh, bar area. This is also another restaurant. So there's two main dining halls that are complimentary, plus a buffet upstairs that's complimentary. There's five, six, seven uh, other restaurants that you have to pay for. Some are a cover charge, some is a flat out fee. It's, it's, uh, it's almost all a la carte. So even with the cover charge, you still got to pay the a la carte. So if you really don't want this food that they're serving, this five-star food for free, you can go pay for the same for, for sushi or whatever. I don't know, but we like what we get for free. It's, it's darn good, man. All right, we're in something called the Bliss now. This is yet another stage. Uh, they do music. They do videos. They do most of the ship's presentations are happening right here at Bliss. Uh, this is another bar. Now this bar. I don't see open very often, but it, it, I have seen it open. So just about everything that happens presentation wise or gathering wise, like when we took the tender, it all happens right here at this little place called Bliss because we're right dead center of the ship. And I think I'm bringing you right back to where we kind of started the video. Back to this central location. We're selling the cruises. There's your photo studio over there. Little gift shop there. There's a bigger gift shop next to the casino. 
um, that's just a small one. I did. We actually had a sale. We bought some T-shirts over there. That was a pretty good deal. We got two for thirty, so we bought four shirts. Four for sixty. Fifteen dollars a piece. We thought that was a pretty good price for souvenir shirts. Pictures of trade winds. So this is kind of a quick layout here. Staterooms, bars, staterooms, 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 bars, staterooms, bars, and bars. <laughs> if you can't get enough to drink on a cruise ship, then you might have some problems. You may need to seek professional help because there is no limit uh, to the drinks and the availability of the drinks. And that drink package that we paid for, I think that was worth it because basically any mixed drink you want, a good one, is gonna run you, to, I'll just call it an average of $15. And anything $15 and under with this package is free. So, except for the tax, you, you do gotta pay tax. It's like a dollar on a drink. So, uh, I think we're doing, we probably got our money's worth. And we don't even drink a lot. So there's a little more up here. Uh, on, we're on the 12th deck floor. Deck 12 aft, and anyway, we've got basketball courts here. We've got a shuffleboard here. There's um, an outdoor chess set there, and then there's some ping pong out here as well. So there's some activities. Today's not the greatest day for them, but there are some activities to do. This is the uh, Deck 11. We're setting up the buffet out here. There's multiple buffets. There's one on that side. There's one on this side. And there's another area over here. I'm unsure what it is. All right, we're still uh, walking around, checking out restaurants. We're on day seven. We, these are places we haven't even seen yet. Uh, all of these do cost extra. Uh, it's not that we wouldn't pay it. We just haven't seen it. So this is like a combination of things, I guess. It's obviously closed right now. Let's see what's on the other side. Teppanyaki. So, so uh, yeah, okay. So I see teppanyaki for sure. Over there. And there's Cagney Steakhouse back there. The prices are not terrible. Ah, oh, here's the sushi bar. Yeah. There, there. Going at it back there. So we got sushi. We are departing Kachakan, Alaska. We did not go ashore here. The weather was horrendous. We did not book an excursion. Um, so we just skipped it. It was a very short time here anyway. So we just kind of did what I'm doing now. Just looked around. And enjoyed some time on the ship. Just had another wonderful lunch. Boy, the food on these ships is just something. So we're sailing now to British Columbia, Victoria, right? Victoria. Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, we will only be there for a couple hours and it's really late at night when we get there. 7.30 tomorrow night, I think. Um, and then back on board by like 9. So it's, I don't know why we're stopping, maybe for gas or something. But <laughs> we're not, no one's probably going to get off the ship. I mean, there's nothing to do that late at night anyway. So this is pretty much going to be the conclusion of the tour uh, of our cruise. Victoria last uh, Victoria tonight no tomorrow night and then we're heading off to Seattle the following morning where we'll be shuttled over to the airport and um, flying back to uh, Benson Arizona we're gonna fly into Tucson Arizona and then catch a ride with a friend of ours back down to Benson where we live and I'm um, gonna tell you we've loved this Alaska thing but we sure have been missing our beautiful low 90s no humidity weather because <laughs> sun sun yes leslie's been missing the sun just she has look at her shivering over there by the door <laughs> so, <laughs> hey we knew it was going to be cold and we were fine with it but we uh, are missing our sunshine and our no humidity 
and et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, this has been a great cruise. We'll see you later.